this week is going to be a, a great fun week. There's a lot of things happening this week. I'm excited. Um, yeah. Before we go, um, just I think one or two more things. I just wanted to mention one thing. My mom bought some dinars, Charlie, and yep. I still don't really understand what she's supposed to do with them. Like, Hang on what? to them for now. Okay. Um, as soon as as soon as the I get the green light, I'll let everybody know in our group um, because they they'll be exchanged for. Uh, we'll give you a rate that we'll exchange them for. And you can either exchange them with us or there's other ways you can exchange them. I will give you a choice. And what to... is the RV going to do for people who hold these currencies? Is it is it linked to like humanitarian aid? Like in what way? The, the Zims are linked to humanitarian aid. Okay. Um, because the numbers are, you know, I had over a quadrillion Zim. Oh, so wow. that, that, uh, that needs to go back into humanity. Right. Um, Okay. So, yeah, the, the Zims are for, for humanitarian projects. The Dinar and the Dong, I think a lot of people that just by the mentality of the group of people that we're associated with, they want to help other people. That's why we're on this journey. Mm-hmm. We're out there to help other people rather than kill other people. So a lot of people through choice with uh, when they come into extreme wealth will want to help other people rather than hide it away. Right. Okay. That makes sense. In a correct yeah. manner. Everything needs to be brought back. I think we've got an amazing Bill of Rights. We have. It's brilliant. I mean, it was... And then, and then the Magna Carta. Like, yeah. I mean, God, these are the greatest charters that established everything. Every yep. fundamental law. But, Charlie, very importantly, I wanted to talk to you about... There's been some worries about the ongoing um, controversy about the RV Tier 4 redemptions, I believe. Because I think it was Benjamin Fulford who announced the idea that those who brought the Vietnamese Dong, the Iraqi Dinar, and the Zimbabwe Zim are suddenly, I think, going to be rich when the currencies shoot up in value after the RV are actually, they're actually clearly victims of a scam, is what he was saying. And then God, there was... God bless Benjamin Fulford. <laughs> One thing's for sure is he speculated. Because he doesn't know, and I don't know, and nobody knows. We what what I what I know is about the quantum financial system is because I am the official spokesperson for the quantum financial system. Right. When it comes to the revaluation of currencies, very simply, there are a number of people who told me to buy Zims, Dinar, and Dong. The first things I bought were Zimbabwe Zims, and I bought a quadrillion of them for about 500 euros and if they're not worth anything it's not going to break my heart yeah no i get that i bought a few um iraqi dinar and a few vietnamese dong about 100 euros worth not a big deal now i have been told that they could be worth a fortune they could be i don't know nobody knows yet because we're not at that phase and when you, when we are at that phase, the minute your exchange ha- happens, if it happens, you go under an NDA. So you can't tell anyone. Right, right, right. So there's people out there saying, oh, it's not going to happen because they're digging. That's all they are. They're little diggers. They're, well, diggers or swamp creatures. They're at the bottom of the pond digging anyway. Uh, they're trying to find out and they don't know. Well, it's probably better to be honest and say, I don't know. Hmm. Um, I, I believe, I believe they could be valuable. I believe that. When it comes to the um, the Zims, it's very clear that there's a there's a difference between the Zims, the Dinar, and the Dong. The Dinar and the Dong, there will be an official exchange rate. Right. That people will be allowed to exchange those for. Right. What that is, nobody knows. It's guesswork because it hasn't been made public yet, and I'll be one of the first people to know that. Yeah. With and regard to the Zims, yeah. Because of the size of them. These are all going to be used for humanitarian projects. Mm-hmm. And That's what the, Simon Parks was saying. He said that he doesn't agree with um, what's her name? Judy Byington and the GCR website that everyone's Zim notes will be exchanged at the redemption centers and because they're actually bonds and not currency. So there'll be only in some circumstances will f- few of the notes be redeemable for humanitarian purposes, like you said. So not because, everyone's going to be allowed to redeem their Zims if they can't produce any humanitarian projects. 
Let that. me just clear something up with Judy Byings. And Judy Byings is a lady out there who's doing the best she can with the information she's got. She's collating lots and lots and lots of information. And Judy and Charlie and Simon will not always get everything right, but we're out there trying to find the truth. So I won't have anybody put down Judy Byington or Simon Parks or anybody else or Benjamin Fulford. These are all different people that have a different view. And it's for every single person watching to try and work out what the truth is because Judy Byington is trying to find out the truth. Yeah. The people who criticise her are doing sweet F.A. The people who criticise me, you, Simon Parks, Benjamin Fulford, sweet F.A. These people are not, they're not looking for the truth. They're just bitching and moaning about people. 